Welcome to DTV. I'm joined uh, with uh, Clint Bartram at Amy Park in the lead up to uh, round nine. And Clint, uh, it was a disappointing one again last week, but uh, how's the review been and just sort of looking ahead to this week? Yeah, it certainly was disappointing. We've, um, oh, there's probably been a fair bit of open and uh, honest discussion, which is uh, duly warranted. And, um, you know, that's how we get better. And uh, we're not shying away from any issues that we've had. And, um, yeah, as I said, it was pretty honest and I think exactly what we needed. Yeah. How do you sort of review a game like that, coming out all guns blazing, first quarter, uh, you know, exciting footy, um, and just really after half time it just fell away a bit? How do you sort of review a game like that? Yeah, I suppose it's, you know, you're never going to win a game playing one good quarter of footy and, uh, you know, but if that's a positive, that's probably our best quarter we've ever played at Eddie Ad and, you know, a lot of people say, oh, you guys don't play Eddie Ad. Well, there's, you know, proof that we do and, there's obviously no excuse for our, our, our last three quarters. Um, we were pretty disappointing and um, really shied away from our con competitive ball and uh, that's something we're going to have to get back to this week against the Saints. And what's some of the other key sort of uh, messages have come out you know, in, in the lead up to the Saints game? Oh, I think it's just a competitive attitude that we need this week. Um, as I said, you know, you, you can't get away with playing 30 minutes of footy. It's not acceptable. And, uh, you know, we need to be held more accountable to it. And uh, this week's perfect chance. I know uh, back's against the wall. I don't know uh, that any of the boys will be taking a backward step. And, um, yeah, I know, I know I'm personally keen to get out there and uh, rectify, obviously, last week's disappointment. Yeah. What about Eddie Had Stadium itself? I mean, it's been a long time since the boys won there, I think 2006 um, or seven. So it's quite a, a fair while now. Um, how do you go into a playing that stadium I mean it's different but do you, do you sort of have to sort of approach it differently or what, what what's sort of the mentality for that? No I don't think you should approach any ground differently personally uh, you know it's got four goal posts up each end and uh, you know grass and it's just it's one of those things whether it's a mental issue that we need to overcome um, as I said personally I don't think I don't think it's a big deal but um you know, as I said, we showed we can play good football there, so there's no reason why we can't replicate four quarters of uh, of in high intensity football. Yeah. Your own form, I got a bit of a rap from Carl Morton in one of his uh, columns this week, but uh, you fly under the radar a fair bit. But you keep doing your job. How are you sort of uh, rating it yourself? Yeah, I, I I purely base my game around the team, and uh, you know, I, we don't play for self recognition. Uh, we're all about getting the team success, but. I mean, it's obviously nice to get a few pats along the back, uh, pats on the back along the way. But um, yeah, I, I just really enjoy my football at the moment, and uh, yeah, sort of doing whatever I can to to get the best result for the team. Yeah. Uh, one of your mates that you sort of come along the journey with, Nathan Jones, has plays his hundredth game this weekend. Uh, what's it like being playing with him, and uh, sort of watching him progress along with, you, with I guess, almost side by side with yourself? Yeah, I, I'm I'm stoked for Nathan. He's at. Um, you know, really successful six years at the club and uh, I've been fortunate enough to sort of walk every step with him and, um, yeah, I mean, fingers crossed he's got another hundred good games in him and uh, hopefully I'm there with him to enjoy the majority of them. But, um, yeah, just big congratulations to him as well. It's a fantastic effort and I uh, look forward to playing with him. He's a fantastic bloke to be out there with. All right, mate. Well, thanks for joining us and uh, best luck for the weekend against the Saints. Thank you very much.